A lot happened in 2023 when it came to professional wrestling. It may have been one of the craziest years on record. As we do move away from it, it seems sense to clarify what these feats were too. That'll be good for proving your geekdom down the line. So don't say I don't do anything for you. And here's 10 weird but true 2023 WWE facts. Number 10, Gunther smashed it and has gone down in the history books. This is because Gunther is now the owner of the longest intercontinental title reign ever, as he broke the Honky Tonk Man's previous record that lasted 35 years. At the end of 2023, the ring general had held that belt for 565 days, and given that Honk only had it for 454 days, that is quite the smashing. There is a more interesting fact going on here, though. And that's what we need to discuss. For you see, Gunther's single IC title run is longer than nearly every other superstar's combined days holding the championship, save for two. Pedro Morales at 617 days and The Miz at 592 days. Given when I'm saying these words, however, he's already moved past The Miz. But yeah, we're now in 2024. I also think most of us expect him to keep this belt until WrestleMania 40, which means this is another record he's going to own. Gunther has finally vanquished the Intercontinental title curse. This record-setting reign is also longer than anybody ever did with the US Championship in both WCW and WWE, and in terms of the latter, is the 8th longest men's single title run in history. So there you go, now you can see how truly nuts this really is. Number 9. The Fans Certainly a constant argument on social media today is attendance numbers. Don't get me wrong, I always find these interesting, but for those who yell and scream about these, you're weird. It's not like there's much to get mad about when it comes to WWE in 2023 either, because they flew. Their 182 live events drew an estimated 1.66 million fans, meaning an average attendance of 9,100 per show. That makes it the fifth highest yearly average as tracked by WrestleNomics, a stat made even more impressive as the four entries above it came from 1998 to 2001 also known as a boom period. It makes 2024 really interesting too, as WWE has hinted that they may cut back on house shows. Number 8, Raw number 30. Do you remember this show? Felt like it happened eons ago now, but it celebrated three decades of Monday Night Raw, and for once, WWE got it right. Sometimes these specials do go awry, but most agreed this was pitched perfectly. It also worked too, because yep, this was the highest rated Raw of 2023, pulling in 2.344 million viewers. WWE must have been over the moon as no Raw in 2021 or 2022 had done this, and in fact, you'd have to go back to the 17th of February 2020 Raw for similar numbers. So good work, I suppose. Although well, there's not really anything else to say about it. Number 7, going around the world. Because yes, they held a record for pay-per-views or premium live events outside of the USA last year, as the Elimination Chamber, Money in the Bank Backlash, and Crown Jewel all happened elsewhere. Do not forget the London show was also only the second proper pay-per-view to come from the UK too. And clearly the powers that be were happy with this. They are gonna break this in 2024. Because we already know that we're heading to Australia, France, and Germany. And if we get the usual two Saudi shows, well, there you go. More fans that get to experience it live, the better. Number six, titles don't change hands. So maybe we did indeed go too far the other way with this, but it was something that just needed to happen. For years, WWE hot-shotted titles all over the place, meaning championships were sort of degraded just didn't mean as much. The opposite was totally proven on TV, though, because the phrase, a new, following a match, happened less in 2023 than at any other point over the previous decade. I mean, two belts didn't change hands at all thanks to Roman Reigns and Gunther, whereas the World Women's title only switched at Mania 39 when Rhea Ripley defeated Charlotte Flair. Seth Rollins would indeed win the Men's World Heavyweight Championship, but that was a brand new trinket, and all in all, we only had 16 shifts six of those being the women's tag belts. You would indeed have to go back to 2012 for something similar. And now we have done the groundwork, let's have a little bit more fun this year. There's definitely a better balance to be had. Number five, Logan Paul's ridiculous year. By December 2023, Logan Paul had only wrestled eight matches and yet looked like he'd been doing it for decades. Regardless what you think about him, the man is very good at sports entertainment. Let's also not forget this means it was in his fifth match when he won the United States title you already know what's coming, that is the fewest fights for somebody to win an active WWE belt in company history. And yes, sure, it does get kind of murky as Shane McMahon won the European Championship in only his second match, but that was in a tag. I mean, just store all this away to annoy your friends with facts. It also kind of does feel that if Paul decides to go full-time with this, he could reach heights no one ever would have predicted. Don't know how I feel about that 
we shall see. Number 4 The Hall of Famers A big criticism of WWE in modern times is the over-reliance on nostalgia. Legendary wrestlers were always coming back and while it worked, it also stopped current stars from breaking through took a spot away from somebody else. Overall in 2023, WWE definitely made an effort to balance this out, just not at WrestleMania 39. Because when you do the maths, a record five Hall of Famers were involved in matches, as Trish Stratus, Lita Edge, Rey Mysterio, and Snoop Dogg, he does count, all competed. Number three, a record-setting rumble. As the 2024 version of the rumble has already passed, some things will change, but still, I found these facts very interesting. Because we all remember Cody Rhodes winning it from position 30, which meant this number finally lived up to its billing. Number 27 used to be the best position for this, but Rhodes' victory turned the tide. Five men have now won by entering in last, whereas it's four for 27. Whereas Gunther continued all of this madness by setting the longest time a man had ever been in a traditional Royal Rumble. Rhea Ripley also became the first woman to go from number one and still have her hand raised, as the Nightmare claimed the record for the most culminative eliminations too. Chelsea Green secured the fastest throwout as she lasted about three seconds, and given that it took 11 women to throw out Nia Jax, there's another. Now we have already seen a new stat this year as Bailey beat the Iron Woman record, and I expect a lot more of these over time. I mean, there's so much we can do. Number two, the return of CM Punk. Right, let's not pretend otherwise. CM Punk returning to the WWE was a smash success. There are so many metrics that show an uptick in business all around because people love this guy. It's why when he got injured at the Royal Rumble, it was really sad. There was so much we were gonna do. As ever, these crazies were back though, because no, after his Survivor Series return, people decided his Raw promo would go through the roof. And then it kind of didn't. Yes, when we go through the numbers, this episode of Raw finished as the seventh most watched of 2023. I don't know about you, but that still sounds pretty good to me. So, goes to show, the statistics will only take you so far. Don't tell me this hire didn't work out for everybody involved. Number one, the Roman Reigns conundrum. Some people are really mad that our tribal chief had a very quiet 2023. Others like the fact the head of the table acts like some sort of special guest. My vantage point is that it seems to have worked. When Roman pops up on TV, a lot of individuals tune in to see him. When we break it right down, however, sure, yeah, it makes for quite hilarious reading. Because yes, no WWE champion in the modern era has defended their title in less television bouts than Roman. In fact, throughout the year, Mr. Bloodline only put his mega championship on the line five times, and two of these came after WrestleMania. That's amazing. I wouldn't worry so much this year. Cody Rhodes is definitely finishing his story, and that guy's a workhorse. Before long, you're going to be sick of seeing these titles. They're going to be all up in your face forever. Now, please do click the video on the screen, which is 10 WWE stars who were hilariously upstaged by other wrestlers. Like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Make sure you leave a comment below. Goodbye.